All right, so we're finally ready to go. What is good, Karina, in the building? So I got your Desani water. Now we're all ready to test. I don't think there's very many active people here today, but that's okay. This video is going to go onto YouTube anyways. So let's start with the tap water. So we got tap water, Culligan base water. I got Evian, Fiji, and Dasani. So first of all, this is an alkalizer. Just you. Yeah, just you, but that's okay. As long as one person is learning, that's all that matters. I do not care how many people are in here watching. As long as the message gets out. This is a water alkalizer, and um, it basically brings the pH of your water up to 8, which prevents diseases and stuff. So that's the kind of water you want to be drinking. Any of this water that tests below 7.3 is trash. So we'll start with the Culligan water. So 7.4 or more is alkaline. What's good, Jay? So as you can see, it is dropping below 7.4, which means it is now acidic water. So that's trash. Basically, Culligan water is essentially the best water you could be drinking up in here, and it is trash. I have added it to my alkalizer, so let's see what happens. To the pH, put this filter. So you see that was basically at a below 7. What this machine does is adds alkalinity to it, so it's rising way over 7.4. So you drink this water, you're not going to get sick. Disease cannot live in a pH of 7.4 or more. So well over 8. That's pretty goddamn impressive. Pretty goddamn impressive. Just for a little water filter. So that's very cool. And once again, it drops below 7 without this uh, filter. So that's pretty amazing stuff to be honest. And then we can look at this. This uh, determines the electricity within the water because we're electric beings. So basically anything positive is bad. So right now we're looking at a bad amount. You want it to be in the negative to read, uh, what do you call it? Electric. So right now it's trash. We will wipe this off. Go back to our alkaline water. And basically like medical water will be in the negative. And unfortunately, this meter is only worth about 150 bucks, so it's not very good. So we'll check on that in a little bit. Next we will do the tap water. And this shit is just terrible. So it's dropping. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this shit would be like a four. And this is really why people are always sick and... You know, it, it affects your body chemistry and stuff too, right? You're drinking shit water and your body is 70% and this is like the majority of what your blood is, what your brain is. Well, yeah, people are going to be shitty in society, so. So, yeah, about a six and a half. That's still pretty bad. You do not want to be drinking that. Go back to my meter. It's still dropping. It's pretty slow. Hard to say if this will drop below zero, but... That's going to be a long time. What's good? Anointed, Colby, just doing some water testing here. This will go up on YouTube later if you want to check it out later or whatever. But basically, we have determined tap water is shit. Culligan water is somewhat decent. I added the Culligan water into my alkalizer machine. And that's what this water is. Oops, it's not even on. But this water is acidic. Once you put it in this little um, 
filter, it becomes alkaline. This alkaline water was like 8. 7.4 is alkaline, 7.3 or less is acidic. So this is alkaline water. This is hella alkaline. So you're drinking this, you are not ever going to get sick. I drink this almost every day. And I have not been sick in, I don't know, four years. Not even the common cold. So next, we're going to do some Evian water. We'll check that out. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, just one second. I'm going to just get rid of all this water. All this alkaline water. I will save that for later. I will take the tap water, which was like six and a half before. It was not even alkaline, so it's already acidic. And I'm going to add it. To my alkalizer and it's basically going to clean the water and turn it more alkaline what is good divinely beauty how are you doing and as you can see this is still dropping again it's not the best machinery but it does it does get the job done so if that can get to below into the negative sorry that means this is electric water Again, I wish it was a little faster, but it's not, so just do the best you can. So here's our new tap water. Let's see how this filter affects it. We'll just spin it around a little bit. Absolutely, it'll clean all your water out. You can get this, it's called a Santivia. You can get this for about 50 bucks on Amazon and you can buy three filters for like 50 bucks. So a hundred bucks and you can get it. So look at my uh, tap water, it's now eight. So I just turned shit tap water that was acidic into alkaline water. So that is pretty amazing. The results do not lie. And these filters have a 60 day, um, use I guess so that's two months you could get this so that is pretty amazing I could have kept that tap water but uh, I still don't want it all right so we got this Evian water now A lot of people like this stuff because right on the bottle, I'm going to stick that in there, right on the bottle somewhere, let's see if I can find it with this awesome camera, it'll say it's alkaline mountain water. Um, let's see, it did say that before, I used to drink these all the time. Okay, sorry, yeah, I don't know, but this is, it states it's a 7.3. Yo, it's good long distance. You need an alkalizer to get that water going good. So Evian water, six and a half. That's acidic. So I'm just going to pour this into here. Toronto tap, you think so? So now we're going to add this six and a half rated Evian water into my alkalizer and we will see what happens. So my, uh, my Culligan water, this is basically the best filtered water like you can get in Canada. Like if you actually pay for it and stuff. And what I've done is thrown it in my alkalizer and now I'm currently um, measuring how electric this water is. So what you want is a negative number so once it drops below zero it's electric water 
And that is super cool. That's exactly what you want. So we got this Evian water. Yo, what's good, Nat? Welcome to the to the water show, <laughs> to the waterworks. How are you doing today? So Evian water is acidic. Once I put it in my alkalizer, test the pH. 790, I took it out and it's dropping, so it went from a six and a half up to almost eight. Fiji is next, we're gonna get Fiji next, and then Dasani. So Evian is like almost eight, so. And that's after I um, put it through my machine here. And you can see my uh, personal drinking water is almost into the negative, so that's awesome. We'll definitely um, keep you updated on that. Gonna need another jug or someone to drink this really fast. All right, so Fiji is up next. I see so many people drinking Fiji. Nature Boy says he only he only uses Fiji, I think, to uh, wash off his fruit and stuff. I don't think he even actually drinks it. All right, so let's check this out. I need this to go to zero. Just give me one second to wipe this off so we get an accurate measure. Okay, so we're at zero. Well, we were at zero. Okay, so we're at zeros. Test in the Fiji. There's tap water in Taiwan you can buy called pH nine. Wow, that's amazing. That's like medical water. That's great. I would love to try a pH nine. Dr. Sabi used to drink pH 10 water. All right, so the Fiji is like six, 660, which means this is acidic water for sure. That's why Nature Boy uses it to wash off his fruits because you don't really want to consume it. So yeah, about six and a half, highly acidic water. So now we will throw it into my Filter. Whoa, what the hell? Throw this into the filter. And we will turn this water into wine. It's messed up thinking about it, providing water for all those people. Yeah, that's true. That's how they keep us sick. That's how they keep um, society in chaos, right? If we all functioned at our like greatest abilities, it would be scary for the government. That's all I'm going to say. Let me just wipe off this pH test. Wanted to read a zero. Still got that shit Fiji water in it, that's why. Okay, so we're at zeros now. Now, let's test the Fiji water after I've run it through my filter. And by the way, this is still dropping. Again, this is like, this must be the world's slowest machine. But I'm telling you, if I could get that to the negative, this is electrical water. This is what you want to be drinking four liters of every single day. And you will totally notice the difference. You'll have more energy. You won't be getting sick. Your thoughts will be completely clear. So we're at over eight. So that's pretty amazing. 
very cool technology here. <clears throat> How does the filter make the water alkaline? I'm not exactly sure, and it's not exactly a natural method, but um, as you can see, all that this is is just a filter. What they state this does is it, um, what do you call it? It mimics the natural occurrence of mineralization in the water to make it alkaline or something. I, the box, I don't even know where I put my box, but it basically mimics uh, the mineralization, the natural mineralization of the water and it makes it more alkaline. And I drink this all the time. Yeah, it's hard to explain. I don't, I'd, I'd have to study a little bit more on it, but I definitely notice the difference. Either way, my pH tester does not lie. We have alkaline water here. Super cool. Tell the water you love it and see if it changes pH. Well, you know, uh, sound and frequency change water molecules, so maybe. I bet you it would. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Look at that. We're almost at negatives with my good water. I actually have a video I posted from like last summer and it basically talks about, you know, just how water molecules change based on sound. You know, when people get drunk and they drink alcohol and then they're listening to like, you know, really heavy metal music or, uh, you know, crazy rap or something, they get all pumped up or you see people in the mosh pits at concerts, like they're on some other level shit, man. It's crazy how, uh. What do you call it? Water. Water really does change your behavior. When people drink alcohol. I mean, your body is 70% water, so... You really got to, uh... Be drinking the best quality. And it's funny, people are all into health and eating fruit and stuff every day, but then they'll drink, like, this all day or something, and it's like... That's your main ingredient water. So we'll test the pH of the Dasani water. It'll probably be six and a half. Nothing dropped below six, so I think that's that's a win. <laughs> that's almost a win. As you can see. My Culligan based filtered water that I ran through this machine is almost electrical. It just takes a long time for it to read. And I'm going to blow your guys' minds once I stick this immediately into the tap water. Oh my god, y'all see some crazy shit, that is for sure. So Dasani water is like six and a half. So all these waters are pretty much. They're almost neutral. They don't really benefit you. They do more harm than good, I'll tell you that. They do keep you hydrated, I guess. We're at zeros finally, which is cool. Maybe I will invest in... Oh, keep spilling. Maybe I will invest in a better machine that reads a little faster. But those are about 500 bucks, and I could use that money to... Uh, invest in my trip to Mexico once I leave there. So we'll just let that filter through. This will be the last water I test. Once again, this ORP meter. Oh, look at that. We're in the negative. So that's awesome. This is some top quality water boy H2O. <laughs> All right, so Dasani water, which was a six and a half. Bust out this pH tester. Just one second, make sure it's zero so we get an accurate rating. And also water that's cold. Cold water will 
automatically be a higher pH. Once water gets a little warmer, it drops just a little bit. But still, I guarantee you, if I put this uh, Fiji water and stuff in the refrigerator for a bit, it won't really go up more than a half. So Dasani, I'm pretty sure, is like the most popular bottled water out there. I'm not exactly sure. It's got to be between Fiji and Dasani, I would think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe smart water, I don't know. So this is eight and a half, so basically this alkalizer machine make gives you eights. So I think that's pretty amazing. So there I have my electric water. I've never actually done this test before, so I'm actually super excited. Like that's that's amazing that I, I can, I have that power to uh, do that. Pretty blown away. So right, as you can see, I'm done with that. Once I take it out, it goes up. It's basically, you want this number as little as possible. It's hard to get, you've always got to do the best you can, that's for sure. You know, like if you're drinking water like this, although it's not necessarily electric, it's still better than what I'm about to show you right now once I stick this in my sink. Just give me one second. All right, so we're gonna turn on this tap water. Bam! Is that crazy or what? Over 500, isn't that crazy? And that's what people shower in every day, that's what they're drinking. Your pores and stuff um, absorb all that. And now it's dropping like a motherfucker. So yeah, that was my little experiment. I hope you guys learned something. I will definitely post this to YouTube. Thank you for watching. This to YouTube. Thank you for watching. And uh, peace. I love myself.